good for three years. They followed your advice. They did all types of different hauling. They're confident now. Like, you know what, man? I'm going to go get my own truck and do this mm -hmm. shit myself. These companies are making a you know bunch of money off of me. I want to start seeking some of that profit. What is the first thing they should do? How should they go about it getting into now the more entrepreneurial side of this? Okay, so the entrepreneurial side of it is just getting your own truck in general. Um, step one. Step one is just getting your own truck. You pick out a truck. Me, personally, I like older trucks because you don't have to run electronic log books. You can run paper logs. Mm. And paper log book is like with with electronic log books they i mean they monitor everything that you do and you're required to take a 10 hour break yes you are you're required to take a 10 hour break mandatory um, mandatory 10 hour break you and get arrested you, if you don't right yeah. they're pretty serious on that yeah department well, of transportation well, well, you, you don't get arrested but you will get fined and that fine can be anywhere from to like if if you have log infraction it can be anywhere from five hundred to fifteen hundred dollars. And let me let me guess: Do you have to pay out the pocket, or does the company responsible for it? The com well, the <laughs> company's responsible for it, but they some of them will dock you. Yeah, your from, pay from your pay from mm, your pay. Yeah, and they might not do it all at once, but they will dock you. I got they will dock money. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course they're gonna get their money somehow. So <laughs> yeah, and if you're a bigger company, you're always gonna have those issues anyway. If you're yeah, a bigger yeah. company, because when you have Three or four thousand plus drivers on the road, you're going to have those issues. Those issues. You have money set aside just for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 